Hello viewers and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we just want to kickstart our new uh, review uh, session with uh, a, new, a new segment. It's called Anime Splash. In this segment, we look at the first three episodes of like an upcoming anime and then we give a recommendation whether you would want to uh, watch the rest of the show or not. Uh, I'm uh, Neil Trotter. And hey, I'm Ricky Morris. And here we go. And the first anime we're going to do is the Mobile Suit Gundam Age. And this is the newest uh, generation of the Gundam series. Uh, now this series uh, takes place uh, after 100 years after all these, all the wars and everything. You know, humanity is uh, at war with these aliens called the Unknown Enemy. They, uh, and, it's, and the anime starts off uh, with this kid. Uh, he's, uh, his entire space colony is, uh, you know, getting destroyed by these uh, unknown enemies. And you know, he wishes his mom, you know, dying. And uh, his mom uh, gives him this uh, module that contains the blueprints uh, to the ancient weapon called the Gundam. Because in the future, everyone apparently forgot how to make them. So, so uh, this kid uh, spends the next seven years or so, uh, you know, building a Gundam, and, you know, the rest of the series is pretty much him, uh, you know, you know, his adventures, uh, flying in it, and, you know, fighting against these unknown enemies. Yeah, it's a, actually a pretty simple plot. It's kind of straightforward, uh, and to the point. So, you know, I noticed the way the storyline is, it's kind of, I think it's more tailored toward kids and preteens. Which, you know, that's not a bad thing. That's, that's their target demographic. I think if I was uh, like a little kid, like, um, yeah, if I was definitely like eight or nine, I'd love it. But even if I was 11, 12, uh, I'd I, I really dig this show. 13, 14, now I'm starting, because they got a lot of uh, cliches that you can start to pick up once you get a little older. And also, you know, a lot of the main characters are younger, like, uh, the main character, uh, who's named Flint, is uh, about around 14, 13 years old. Yep, and he's like piloting Gundams and building them, and he's like this super genius. Yeah. And you know, he has, you know, has his friends, you know, this little girl, and, uh, you know, and the, you know, friends and everything, goes to school, you know, until the, the unknown aliens come and blow it up, but you know, mm -hmm. got all that stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, the main character, his hair is blue, which is kind of, it's hard to take him seriously. <laughs> he, he's, and he's so young. Uh, I'm actually not um, uh, a mobile Gundam fan. I do really love Gundam Wing, and that's it. The rest I don't really care for too much. I think Gundam Wing was a little different. Uh, it's interesting because the main characters in Gundam Wing, they're, they're teenagers too. But I don't know, I guess this, the, the, these characters are kind of acting a little more childish, which is, that's fine. Uh, I also got some cliches with yeah, some of the characters like uh, you got their basic, you know, the little cute thing that always follows the main character around. They got one of those and they got... A spherical robot thing that just sort of, sort of like a parrot. Yeah, a parrot like, or like one of those fairies that Link has or like, you know, millions of other things. I, I Or maybe not millions, but a lot of things that I've seen copy that whole thing to, I guess, give some you know, make things less serious. <laughs> and then you have uh, so, like this girl, this m the mysterious girl that has, I don't know, pseudo-psychic uh, powers or something. Uh, Yaren. Oh yeah, that's her, that's her name. And again, Yaren. that's kind of a, yeah. a cliche right there. You know, you've seen that. Mysterious powers can uh, see in the future, tell what the enemy's trying to do, apparently, somehow. So. Yeah. Kind of reminds me a lot of the Big O, where they, they had that girl that was in, in the, the the power suit as well. <laughs> it's kind of the, almost the same thing, I thought. Uh, so you got that. You also have uh, they, she has he has these two buddies. So apparently, he probably maybe he'll have more in the future. Mm -hmm. And that's you see that all the time with the buddies. You know, really concerned, rooting the character on. Yeah, Emily. She's just you know, you know that girl that you know wants to follow him around. You know, cheering him on. You know, doing dangerous stuff on her own, and you have the uh, this little male character called Daike, who's you know kind of a a foil to Emily, really. So, 
I know there's other characters too, like uh, you have Vargas, that's uh, Emily's grandpa. He's like, assists Flint with building all the devices and whatnot. And you know, you yeah. have uh, and other characters show up as well. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Vargas is kind of like the Dr. Riley of the show. <laughs> Dr. Riley. And then you got uh, Emily's kind of like the, the Petty, like Inspector Gadget type of show. <laughs> so you got a lot of archetypes, which is uh, cool if you're a little kid because you're not going to catch all that. But you gotta catch it if you're getting started to become a teenager. Uh, it is just all types of cliches. What other? Um, however, some of the things I did like about the show is that for the first episode, at least, it, it gets into the action immediately. You know, there's no like uh, it, this. The show doesn't start off really slow like a lot of animes do. It, it goes right in there, and it's the the main character starts fighting, and it's all good. You know, I, li I like that. Um, the second episode, it kind of dropped down, where the excitement got uh, low-balled. But I think, you know, they're trying to build up the plot. I, I think you can still build plot and have action sequences, and that's just me. Um, so I, I was thinking the show was going to have some great pacing, but it looks like it's kind of, it just spikes, goes up and down. Yeah, the third episode actually does have a lot of action, you know, but... And it looks like the fourth it, one is going to drop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they introduced this other character in the third one. That I thought he, he just comes out for like the last part for like a minute. <laughs> I thought it was the most courteous thing. But that's it's another archetype coming at you, which is that's cool. <laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, some things I noticed just personally. <laughs> uh, uh, episode two, I thought they had the they had the Gundam. And he, he had that RoboCop walk, where I don't know why he wasn't running, he was just kind of walking. Remember that part where they, yeah. he's chasing the, the psychic girl for the first time? Like, yeah. He's kind of walking like RoboCop. But it's, I know he can move though, because in space he's moving all crazy. So yeah, I was kind of funny. Didn't, just didn't want to scare him anymore. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, you, I mean, if there's like a giant robot with a gun <laughs> chasing you, what would you do? Oh yeah, well, I, mean, I don't know, maybe this is a robot from the military, I, I don't know, maybe I'll, well, Welcome. However, they, the, the, he, he did pick her up and put her inside with her, and he was still walking like Robocop. So I, mm -hmm. I love that. Well, I mean, I guess they had a lot of time at the time. But, oh, okay. Like, you, know. <laughs> you know, you never know. And uh, the other thing I thought was funny, sometimes the bad guys will just run away for no reason. I thought that was kind of lame. I know they try to make it mysterious and all that. Yeah. But I don't know, I just, just fit, you know, just, you know, take them out. <laughs> now they're going to run away. But it's all good. <laughs> so, what do you think? Would you, uh, based on the three episodes, would you continue to watch the show? Um, well, I do find some, you know, things that are kind of interesting about it. Like, there's this age system where, you know, as Flint fights, he, uh, like, uh, basically they gain data and they can use that to make more powerful weapons, so... Like kind of a do sex machina, but you know, it might be kind of cool to see what kind of weapons they come up with in the future. And you know, you have these unknown aliens, like kind of mysterious, you know, a little bit interesting to see what they might be. So, I mean, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that interest me, but I mean, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I might not really want to continue it because there you, go. you know, there's a lot of cliches and stuff like that, and you know, a lot of things I might see that'll. You'll probably see coming, so you know there's there are better things to watch out there. <laughs> I agree. I'll tell you what, if I was 11 years old, I'd be really into this anime. 12, maybe. Oh yeah, this is this is the, the stuff right here. But as a grown man, I can't. It just the I, I I can already predict what's gonna happen. 12 episodes down the line, if it follows the formulaic. Uh, uh, route that is going, which I'm pretty sure it is, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to not watch it, but that's not to say that, that this is a bad anime. It seems like a good anime for the target demographic that it obviously is trying to target, which is preteens and um, little kids. But uh, I think if you're kind of looking for some mature storyline, yeah, you want to not deal with this one and go do something else. Uh, any last minute comments or thoughts? It's all good. Um, yeah, well, just like uh, Neil said, just uh, this segment, the point of this segment isn't really to say whether or not an anime is bad or not, just, uh, you know, just act based on the first few episodes, is it really worth, would, you know, someone really want to continue with uh, watching the, 
you know, the 26 or 50 or so episodes that this anime would contain in the future. So, because there's a lot out there, you know. So why waste your time <laughs> with the few? Uh, you know, I know there's some people thinking like, well, you know, some anime take a, a while to develop. Um, you know, so, I mean, sometimes an anime will take 20 episodes and you'll still, you won't like it until finally it starts getting good. And, you know, I just, I think that's, you kind of wasting your time, uh, you know, watching 20 episodes that suck and then finally start getting into the good stuff. I mean, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. But if you're one of those people that, like, you know, I've got to give it a chance, you know, some people are like, I got to watch the whole thing and then I'll decide whether it's good or not. That's what you want to do, that's fine. But as Ricky said, there's a, there's so many anime out there, there's so little time. So, you got to choose wisely. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, watching this segment. Hope to see you next week. We'll be having, we'll watch another anime. And we'll give our uh, recommendations and observations and opinions. Mm -hmm. We'll see you then. And uh, if you have any, you know, recommendations you want to give to us, to, you know, to, you know, put into the spotlight, uh, just uh, leave, say something, put something in the comments below.